Oh my gosh, I, I'm telling you, I am starting to hate winter. I think it's because the older I get, the more I just hate it. Anyways, um, it's a few days before Christmas. I, um, I've got one thing still to pick up that I had on order and uh, I I want to spend my 20% off coupon for Sephora. <laughs> I'm hoping when I get down there that I can find my Urban Decay liners. That's what I'm really looking looking for. Um, maybe, maybe I'll go for some foundation. I don't know. But that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to try to vlog a little bit of the Christmas holiday. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to try to vlog a little bit. I got my, my bike basket liner in. <laughs> I'm so excited. I know some of you probably don't care about that, but I got my basket liner in. So my bike, who whose, whose name is Glenda, the Good Witch, now has matching fenders and a chain guard and her basket. Now I'm stuck here in New Hampshire with snow and cold weather. Um, I don't know when I'm going to go out and ride. But anyways, I got my basket liner in. I'm super excited. I'm heading out to the mall. And I am hoping to finish everything I have to do with Christmas. I still need to do... I have to get cards. I have to... Because we're going to do some gift certificates. I have to do cards. But... Um, and then the food, last minute stuff. So anyways. Yeah, so if you're interested, <laughs> stay tuned. Of course you're interested, right? It's YouTube. Yeah. Thanks. Stay tuned. I did most of my wrapping this morning. I just have the cards to do. That means the cards and the checks. You still haven't done that? No. When are you going to do it? Tomorrow's Christmas. I know. Tomorrow's Christmas. And we're expecting a storm, right? Yeah. So it's like, holy camoly right now. You know, if it's snow, that's one thing. But ice is another thing. So I think it's going to be ice. It's going to be ice, maybe. So we'll have to play it by ear. Because it's supposed to go up to Stratford. So I'm going to sort of vlog Christmas as much as possible. And hopefully this will be the start of it. I don't know. We'll see how it comes out. Anyways, we're off to pick up my mother, Mama Lita. Yeah. What is um, what is one of the biggest difference between Christmas in Germany that you remember and Christmas here in the States? Well, Christmas here in Germany is completely different. First of all, we have a nice uh, Heiliger Abend. Then we have the first Christmas Is that Christmas day. Eve, Heiliger That's Abend? Night, yeah. It's more celebrated than over here. Christmas Eve was more Christmas celebrated, Eve, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For some reason, I, I remember uh, that. Your Christmas Eve, the Santa Claus came. You got all your presents, and I remember Billy. I teach him a little spruch when the Nikolaus came, but he has to say a little and spruch. That's what spruch. you call a speech. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he said, "Lieber guter Weihnachtsmann, schau mich nicht so böse an. Stecke deine Rute ein. Ich will schon recht artig sein." Did you understand that? No. <laughs> <laughs> but that did. <laughs> you taught He's, Billy to say all that yeah, and he, he said, said it? Oh yeah, he said that all that and you know what, not too long ago, well it, maybe it's a few years ago, I asked him if he still remembers what he said when Santa came. And, and did he? Yes, he said. <laughs> you know, even though he said his prayers, what he had to always say. Yeah. You know, come here Jesus, I own the dust. Not this is like when you eat down, when you sit down to eat. Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing, Billy. I he always had a much better memory than me. He could remember things, you know. Me, he does. My 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 mind is always going in fifteen million directions, so it's like you have more on your mind than he does. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So he yeah yeah he was surprised at times, and he, even what he spoke in German, he spoke very well. Pretty good, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I remember that one picture of him. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't him. Was it him or Cologne? They they yeah. had these funny hats on their head, like these cones. Do you remember in, that? In Germany? Yeah. It was like a real old picture that they stood there with their, in their little, remember, their little later horse. And, oh, yeah. That was a little Trachtenhut. What, what, what kind of hat? A Trachtenhut. What does that mean? Yeah. You 
get me sometimes. Uh, <laughs> like when you wear a dental yeah. and the leather hose, that's in all you call trachten. Ah, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Heilige Ab and Christmas Eve was always the most... It, it was, uh, yeah. And, and so, and, and we're going to do our own Heilige Ab and tonight because we're, we're going to go to do a little... You know, Jay and I have done Christmas Eve like this for a long time, so mm -hmm. yeah. it's going to be nice. So, Heilige yeah. Abend. Yeah, Heilige Abend was, you know. So, here we are. Mom, don't. Look at Mom's little bow on her head. Oh, isn't that cute? Isn't she adorable? <laughs> and we're standing here with the artist guy. With I put his Santa hat on. Yeah. And behind Mom. Where is behind? Is the, it, well, oh. you can see mm -hmm. the buoy. Mm -hmm. And this is where we come and say Merry Look Christmas to Dad. Oh, yeah, that's right. Merry Christmas to Dad. Yeah. It's unbelievable Christmas. that him and Billy are gone. Merry Christmas, Opa. And there's Mr. J. He's he's gonna take his drone out. Mom, watch this drone right here. You see this little creature? Oh my God! Now make sure you turn it on, Jay. Look at that. Hi there, Mr. Drone. Is he filming? Michael. Michael has a different type. He made it himself. Uh -huh. Wow, look at that. You're going to take him out to the booth? Or try? Yeah. Oh, there he Jay's trying to control him. He's gonna, Jay just took the drone out. The drone has gone over to see Opa way over there. Oh, it's cold. Say hi, Manza. Hello. It's cold. It's a sehr kalt heute. It's ganz kalt. This is ganz kalt heute. This is ganz kalt. But yeah, so Jay, are you filming with the drone? Yeah. I don't see him anymore. He's way, way over there. Way, way over there. And this is some drone footage. Jay's still fairly new with his drone, so he's just learning. But I love this that you can see us down on the ground. And my mom, she really didn't quite understand what was going on standing there looking and we're watching the drone to go up and all that. It was it was really a lot of fun. And, you know, Jay, the more he flies the drone, the better he gets. But he's still a little bit leery about going too close to the ground. So he tends to fly it higher up. And I'm like, oh, but you should come down a little lower so we can see it a little bit better. But I think he just, you know, feels more comfortable right now while he's learning being up high, especially if he's flying in an area where there's a bunch of trees. But this footage just shows this little tiny lighthouse that's actually in Maine, that lighthouse. But I love this one as he's flying the drone back. And you can see, this is where we're standing. We're standing in Newcastle at Great Island Common. He brings the drone down, whoops, bypassed us, and comes right down to where we are. This is sort of high speed because I didn't want the footage to go on and on, but it was so much fun doing this. And a couple of pictures that we took, this artist bluff, a wrought iron cutout, was just pretty. Then we went to Nubble Light in Maine, and this is in York, Maine, Nubble Lighthouse. And I've got some footage here and some video and some drone coming up, too. Every year, they kind of really decorate Nubble Lighthouse area. It's it's quite popular. As you can see, the lighthouse is beautiful. They light it up a couple of weeks before Christmas, and they actually have a Christmas tree in the windows. It's really probably one of the most, I think, popular lighthouses. Now, here, this is really cool because Jay flew the drone over, and you can see him flying on top of the lighthouse, he goes to the back side, which is so super cool because that's not something we see very often. And, oh my gosh, it was so funny being on that end. And he's filming 
as he turns around and he actually filmed it all the way back to where we were standing. You can see the drone is coming back to the footage or heading back to where we were on the other side. But he had filled up the SD card. So no further footage with the drone. And this was on our ride back. We had gone out to dinner at a restaurant in New uh, Newington and then came down through Exeter. I love downtown Exeter. Beautiful, beautiful little town. I film this town often and at the holidays it's usually all lit up. This is ho the home of Phillips um, Exeter Academy. Very, very popular prep school. Just, um, uh, I think, Exeter is probably one of the most prettiest small communities that we have. Lovely town. Always really the way beautiful it's all locations with lights and that, especially in the winter time, Christmas. So it's Christmas morning and it is, well, almost Christmas afternoon, right? Yeah, 1157. 1157. And we woke up to an ice storm. We knew there was a potential of a storm, but we woke up to an ice storm. Everything is a clear sheet of ice. It's like a mess out there. So Jay salted the driveway, packed up the car, wearing his Jeep instead of my Nissan because your Jeep is heavy, right? Yeah, a little bit heavier. It's got four-wheel drive if we need it. Yes, yeah, so it's mine. Doesn't oh, yeah, mean all-wheel drive. All -wheel drive mine has. But anyway, so um, we're going down to pick up my mother, and then we're going to make our way slowly up to Stratford. And I hope that we just go on the main roads because it, it's like 28 degrees, so it's still at that freezing cusp uh, where the weather's crappy. So. Day. So we are in the car and mom is safely in the back seat. She's, she's all decked out for Christmas. Merry Christmas. Jay's driving. Waving. And um, so yeah, it's 28 degrees still. Freezing rain. Ice. I'm going to show you what the roads look like in a little bit, but we're we're heading up to Heidi's for Christmas, and we had a wonderful day yesterday, didn't we? Oh, we sure we did. We yeah. Nice. yeah, it was a lot of fun doing all that. Yeah. So it was cold though. Yeah, cold. Really cold. We yeah, had we went to dinner. We had a nice dinner at Longhorns. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. 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 So it was it was nice, and so now we do the uh, the official family Christmas. It'll be different. This will be the second year Dad hasn't been with us, and Billy. So, and Mikey won't be able to come. He said he's he's got some family, you know, family things. So, but we're gonna have a good Christmas no matter what, right? So the roads were pretty treacherous. It took us a long time to get to my sister's, but when we got there, we had a wonderful meal and then we posed for pictures. I love when we put our Santa hats on and we just act goofy. All of us together, missing my dad, my brother, my grandson, Michael, my niece, Carissa, and her family. But it was just lovely to be together on Christmas. December 26th. And yesterday we had really horrible driving conditions in the morning going up to Heidi's to celebrate Christmas. Oh. But we made it safely, had a wonderful afternoon, came home, dropped mom off, set up her new computer. And this morning we woke up to more wet, freezing temperatures. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me, for hanging in there. I hope you enjoyed some of the clips that I added of the Christmas and Christmas Eve celebrations that we did with my family and my mom. Uh, we, had a, we had a great time. The weather, if you watch the clips, you know we had an ice storm. So it was really treacherous to drive to my sister's house. And I was really nervous because I had my mom in the car. We had... You know, all everything was in the car, and I'm like thinking, oh my gosh, if we broke down, if we got into an accident, and you know, all this ice, and and I kept saying, what is it worth it? But you know, ultimately, it took us a little bit longer to get there, but we got there, and we had a great day, even though, you know, we all thought of my dad and my brother at various points in times, and we missed them, and we missed the other family members that couldn't be with us, my grandson Mikey. He's um, 24 and uh, he had some family things going on with his mother on his mother's side. 
and my niece Carissa who lives in North Carolina now. She was in Florida um, but now she's in North Carolina so her and her daughter her family really missed them being with us but overall we had an awesome we had an awesome Christmas and I'm so thankful <laughs> I'm so thankful because I was really worried anyways I wanted to come back on I mentioned that, you know, Jay, we went shopping a couple of days before Christmas, ended up going to Sephora. I really, really wanted to get my two, I love my my um, Sephora eye pencils, my gel liners from Sephora. I just think they are the best for me. And I use many other gel liners, you know, I'll use the Sephora brand, I'll use the Ulta brand, I'll use NYX, um, I, I, many other gel liners including Avon, and I really like a lot of the Avon liners, lip liners, my favorite. But the Urban Decay 24-7 or any of their gel liners are my, they're, they're sort of like my tried and true. No matter what kind of day I have, if I'm, you know, if it's a day that I'm like teaching all day and, you know, the lights or I'm running or I'm doing this or that, they just have never let me down ever. So the two colors, the two shades that I really like, Smoke, put this on my hand right up here, and Perversion. Yeah, uh, Smoke and Perversion. Perversion is the, the one closest to my fingers. I'll try to zoom in. And then Smoke is the one closest to my Apple Watch. These are the two, I mean, I have I have a few different shades as well, but these are the two that I always lean to. The Perversion is black, but it's not the blackest black. It's more of a, I don't know how to describe it, it's more like a softer black, and I really like it. I am a black eyeliner gal, I know. And Smoke is that cooler shade of, of uh, charcoal brown. Um, that isn't that warm brown it's a cool shade and i and it just really goes well so i really like both of these and they tend to not be available as readily you know when i go into sephora i go into ulta they're shades that i have a harder time finding in fact i in the the sephora i went into i got the last on the shelf smoke I'm sure they probably have more in the back, but I got the last one. So Perversion was out last time I went, but this time I scored, I got both Perversion and I got Smoke and I got it with that 20% off coupon. So how cool is that? I was really excited. And I ended up getting my Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder. Normally I wear Pebble, but I wanted to try, and I know I'm going to mess this up, Frisco, Frisco, F-R-E-S-C-O. This is the shade Sheila. Um, uh, simply Sheila wears and when Sheila and I were talking we were together a couple of years ago down in Myrtle Beach I had I think tried a little bit of hers and I thought it was a really good shade so I have been even though I wear Pebble um, I wanted to see how this looked on my skin in comparison to Pebble and every time I go I usually buy this at the cosmetic company store because it's it's so affordable 20 some odd dollars a bottle but Every time I've gone the last year and a half, they have not had my shade. They've had they've had a lot of darker shades. They've had a lot of warmer shades, but they just not have had. They've not had Pebble or Frisco. Frisco, they just haven't had it. So I broke down twenty percent off, and that's what I bought at Sephora. So for that twenty percent off coupon, and. Uh, I walked out of Sephora and I had a bag in my hand and Jay was going, oh my gosh. But yeah, so it wasn't that bad. Um, the the thing that I did want to talk to you about is the Fibushi. I mentioned that. F-E-I-P-U-S-H-I. Fibushi. This is the new face dupe. Now, I I have had, I, I purchased my first new face and I really liked it. I have the attachment for the eyes. I really, really like my, my new face. I purchased my first one. I had problems with it. I had to return it. And then when I returned it, I couldn't get what I bought on the sale price because they had they just didn't have it anymore. So I did not buy it again. Then I had an opportunity to review the new face, Trinity, and I got the new face and the adapter, and I loved it, but it lasted about six weeks, and it died. I reached out to the company that sent it to me, and because it was a freebie, you know, of course, right? I mean, I'm not going to get a replacement or something like that because it was a freebie. So um, they were they were really not able to help much. But I did reach out to them and um, got no results. So 
I had been talking to Penn Smith, um, Penn Smith Skincare. I love Penny. I absolutely love her. Someday we're going to meet up. I know it. And uh, she gives some awesome advice on her channel. She is young. She is beautiful. She's got perfect skin. Well, she works her skin. And I'm, I'm old enough to be a grandmother. But basically, I have reached out to her a number of times and we've chatted. So she is extremely knowledgeable, super responsive, and just a real person. You know, I really like talking to her. Anyways, I was talking to her about different skincare devices, and, and I had told her that I really wanted to try this, and I wanted her take on it. So um, I ended up ordering it, and I know it's a dupe for the new face, and um, I was really a little leery about it, but I ended up ordering it first glance I love how it came it came really packaged well I got this I think the third week in November so I haven't been using it longer than five weeks or so but I love how it came packaged it has a um, USB cord that you just you attach this to the device and you charge it and you can plug it in to anything you don't have to have a separate stand or anything like that it it says the, when you first get it you should charge it for 24 hours which is what I did and then when I put it on it really works well it's easy to turn on and off it has all the different levels I normally do a four or five and I do about five seconds each pass so I do a slow pass but the cool thing about this is that you can you can use it with your skincare right to help absorb to help really penetrate your skin to go deeper so I have had sheet masks on and then done this I love it um, so I've only been using it a short period of time but so far granted my new face held out about six weeks too but so far this I think this is just as good as the new face it is lighter physically when you hold it it's easier to turn on for me I can hear the beep a little louder the new face it could hardly hear the beep but that's my ears and I love the fact that I don't have to have special conductor gel I can use some sort of skin care you just don't want to have oil you know you want to have be careful with it so I've been using sheet masks I've been using regular skin care and I've been doing this almost every day not the sheet mask part but almost every day so I am loving this and this is like what 50 bucks you can probably get it cheaper on sale but I am absolutely loving this I think this is awesome I, I I loved my new face I was heartbroken when the second one died I really was heartbroken when the second one died I um, I was bummed when I reached out and you know because I didn't buy it and have any kind of warranty so I was bummed when nothing could be done about my failure on my first the one they sent me so bummed but so this I've been reading about, I've been looking at, and I just thought, well, I'm going to give it a try. So I did order it. I ordered it from eBay, Fabushi. I'm sure you can see a ton of reviews on this. And um, so far, so far, I like it. This has been a real hit so far. So I am super excited to go back on this. Now, I when I use my skincare devices, I'm a creature of habit. I use my Foreo and a Foreo dupe, guys, that I've had for three years now, still going strong. So I use my, my real Foreo or my Foreo dupe, no difference between them, except for price, and it works fabulous. And then I use my, um, my spatula for when I want to really clean out my pores, you know, the, um, the spatula. And then I also use the microderm abra uh, uh, abrasion. And I use that about every six weeks or so, as well as red light therapy type, you know, products. So, um, but I've been using it, you know, different, some couple of different products on my skin and really, really liking it and liking the results, I think. So anyways, I just wanted to come in and talk about this. My next video, I think I'm going to update my skincare because that has been a request. And so I'm going to talk about that. I still have some wig reviews to do and I haven't been able to do them, but... I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So anyways, I hope you guys all had a wonderful holiday. And um, let's, let's hope that 2022 is a far better year for all of us. But I'll see you before 2022. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all. Bye-bye.